Hi Beach! Hello! Welcome back. It's been a little bit, but today we're mixing it up and I'm doing a Trader Joe's haul. Thank you, little Marquee, for letting us know what to expect today. Recently, as some of you may know, I was working in Santa Fe, which means I had the absolute joy of going to one of my favorite grocery stores, Trader Joe's. And so this is gonna be a mix of like a Trader Joe's haul, but also I have some fall favorites. And now basic warning, it's a lot of like pumpkin type things, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been into. Just let you see what I buy at the grocery store. All right, we're caffeinated. So let's just get into it. Let's start with the Trader Joe's stuff. So I'm gonna start with the pumpkin spice almond beverage. Now this I got with the intention of trying it in the form of like a make it home drink. So for example, they have also like a matcha beverage. I think it's also almond. So I'll use that to make um, a matcha latte of sorts at home. But this one I really like because as I made with it today, with some Dunkin' Espresso in my Keurig, it makes for a lovely latte. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Next item is already open because I have no self-control. This is the new cold pressed Fuji Apple Spice Cider. I'm not sure if they've carried this in the past. I know for sure they've made the almond pumpkin beverage before. They brought it back again this year, so I repurchased. But this one I've never tried before. It has cinnamon clove, not from concentrate. It is extremely high in sugar, I will warn you, but it's actually pretty delicious. So. I'll have maybe like a little bit over the course of a few days so that way I'm not just getting a sugar overload all at once. The next item, sticking with the fall theme, is some organic maple butter. I'm not sure if they have made this before but they were sampling it when I was at the store and I was like, you know what, it's $5.99 but it is damn delicious. So this I've had on toast recently, very good, 10 out of 10 recommend. But I'm also a big maple syrup person so this should come as no surprise to anyone. In a sort of semi-healthy vein, I got the Leafy Greens with Butternut Squash Salad Kit. Why? <laughs> it comes with a baby spinach, loyal rosa, radicchio, and frise featuring butternut squash topped with feta cheese, sweetened dried cranberries, candy almonds, and a white balsamic vinaigrette. If you are a meat-eating person, you could probably add some chicken to it or something, but I will just go ahead and take as is. This is, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing now. Okay. Welcome our guest, Holyfield over here. She's now missing a chunk of her ear and we're not really sure what happened. Another fall centric holiday item are these cornbread crisps. I've never tried these before, but they were in the Fearless Flyer and they sounded pretty good. It says it's a sweet and salty cornbread snack. It's just the way I like my snacks. Then we have here, this is the Harvest Grains blend. I got this because it has Israeli couscous in it and I really love Israeli couscous. But this also has orzo, baby garbanzo beans, and red quinoa. It says you can make it with cooked shrimp for a complete entree or put like side dishes. So I would actually probably use this as like the base of something or in addition to like a salad or something like that um, over some like baby arugula, which is what I usually like to do is make like a salad base and carbs and then put some sort of protein in with that. So I'm really excited to try this because it's new and I've never had it before. Honorable mention, another thing that's already open, <laughs> the Trader Joe's Oreos. These are the pumpkin ones. I'll try to put it right there so that we'll zoom in. But this one has a pumpkin face on it, which the lobster says it does not taste like actual Oreos. I have to agree, but hey, it's still pretty good. Moving on. I also got these pumpkin cranberry crisps, which I feel like they've had before, but they're basically like anything you can use as like a serving thing for a dip, and I love me some dip. Coming in on the end here. As I mentioned, this is more of a haul, so some things I'm restocking on, just to kind of like show you guys what I like to keep in my freezer and whatever. Keep in mind though, like I know freezer things oftentimes have a lot more sodium and aren't as healthy, but these are just some things I like to have on hand in case of an emergency, but no, these are not things that I'm going through and eating continuously all day, every day. Just as a disclaimer, if anyone thinks that I'm trying to, you know, brand myself as some sort of nutritionist. So the first thing I found are these Harvest Spaghetti Squash Spirals. It says they are spaghetti squash spirals and chunks of butternut squash and a seasoned tomato sauce. Which to me sounds kind of like a nest. Like, you know how sometimes you can buy pasta and it's already like swirled up so you just dip it in the water and then it's like, you know, 
a magical little boat of carbs. I feel like that's kind of what this is, but made with spaghetti squash. So again, never tried these before, but definitely excited to give these a go. Maybe one of these nights for dinner, I'll give this a try. And the last spaghetti squash themed item that we have here is the cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. If you are lactose intolerant or vegan, obviously you cannot have this. But since I'm um, mostly vegetarian, I did make an exception for this, mostly because I really love spaghetti squash as much as this girl loves being pet, but also just because... It just looked delicious, okay? Who doesn't love a casserole in winter, all right? Get off my case. This one is a spaghetti squash and a creamy bechamel sauce with Parmesan and white cheddar cheese, which, ugh, I gotta tell you, white cheddar just does it for me. It, it really does. It just sends me. These last three items are nothing new to me. I've had them before, I love them. These are just things that I was restocking, but since this is a haul, I wanted to include these so that you guys can see some of the other things that I got on my exciting adventure to Trader Joe's. These, meatless meatballs. If you are a non-meat eating person and you can have soy, these are amazing. They're really great too, just for the convenience of being able to like, either throw together a sauce or oftentimes I will use some sort of jarred marinara tomato sauce. Trader Joe's makes one. You can get one pretty much at any grocery store. Just heat up the sauce and then heat up the meatballs with it. And then you can put it over spaghetti. You can make a meatball sub if you really wanted to. The options are truly endless. I restocked these and I'm very glad I did. So this is something that I will always keep in my freezer just in case there's a night that I you know, get home late or I don't feel like cooking anything. You can just throw this together, it's super quick, super delicious. And for anyone who's very concerned, there's 14 grams of protein per serving. So there's where you get your protein as a non-meat eater. Alrighty, another meat-free substitute that I absolutely love, also has soy, just as a disclaimer if you are a non, meat eater or someone who can't have soy that is in this. These are the chickenless crispy tenders. I love these. I would argue these are the best non-meat chicken tenders I have ever had. Now, I know Gardein makes really good ones. They're fine. They're kind of a little bit more maintenance to make, whereas these ones you can just fry up in a frying pan and they're good to go. I don't know that you can do that with Gardein. I can't remember if I have and it messes with the texture or that I just never have thought to do that and it's not on the directions that it specifically says that you have to cook them in the oven or you can like par bake them in the microwave and then I'll put them in the oven, but these are just easy. They're ready in like five minutes. They're super good. They have, they have great taste and texture and you know, sometimes if I'm gonna make a salad, I'll cut these up and put them as like what you would regular chicken strips onto a salad. And these have 11 grams of protein per serving, 30 grams in the entire package. Just in case anyone cares. I mean, I doubt it, but you never know. The last Trader Joe's item, and then we'll get into the fall favorites type of things, is the Thai vegetable gyoza. These are so good and so easy to make. I just, I've had these, when was the first time I tried them? I can't even remember. They've carried these forever and you know, I can't stop buying them, they're just so good. If you put them in soup, I find they're a little bit gummy and kind of like fall apart because you know, if you let the soup sit there, it sort of like, you know, obviously makes like the casing of it get really soggy. But I do like these made in a frying pan. So if you pan fry the bottoms and then drop in the water and put a lid on to cook them off the rest of the way, I find that's the best way to get a nice crispy texture on them in addition to like the mushy from the vegetable and all that good stuff. Oh, and before I forget, two more things. One, a noisy puppy. And two, I forgot a couple drinks. So I also got the Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale. It's fine. I will say, it's gonna sound real pretentious, but it's no shipyard pumpkin ale. Okay, there, I said it. I'm sorry, I love you Trader Joe's. This is a fine beverage, but it's, but just, it's just not, not the same. Pain. We also have here pumpkin pie spice ginger brew. So if you want a pumpkin pie Moscow mule or some other drink that you make ginger beer with, this is for you. Also, something I forgot to mention, but this video would not be complete without. I am pissed about a lot of things being discontinued, but one of the things that still hurts the most is the curried cauliflower from Trader Joe's. They've been telling me for months, oh, it's it's a production delay, they're gonna make it, it's on back order. Bullshit, okay? 
I've been checking every time I go to a town that has a Trader Joe's at nothing. It was a perfect combination. It had cauliflower, it had potatoes, it had peas, maybe carrots, but definitely peas and curry. It was just, it was perfect. And now they just have the curried chicken salad. Why do you gotta do this to us, Joe? Some of us don't wanna eat meat, but we still want that curry delicious flavor, okay? Please, just bring it back. But please don't do it at the expense of the spicy lentil wrap, because it's one of my favorites too. And I feel like now that I'm saying it, they're gonna get rid of it. Okay, that's everything. Well, not everything, but most of the stuff I got at Trader Joe's, some of it was just like, you know, sauces and seasonings and stuff so that's not anything really exciting I was mostly into all the fall stuff that they had I was a little sad though that when I was there they were out of the mini succulents they're $2.99 and so I ended up getting an orchid instead the really small one she's doing great she's over on my vanity right now I was wanting to get one but maybe when I'm there in the future I can get another one also our guests these two pumpkins came from Trader Joe's which by the way I bought a pumpkin probably this size at Sprouts in Vegas for 99 cents this one was 69 cents so I was a little peeved because I'm like okay like it's not a huge difference but it's enough that I'm like all right I could have just waited and then gotten cheaper pumpkins so that one is in my kitchen but these two are over here for my fall decor in my little setup here. If you have watched my channel for, oh, I don't know, any amount of time, I would hope that you would know that I am a silk soy creamer ass bitch. And I saw on Instagram right before pumpkin season that they have, and again, I don't know if it's new, but they have an almond pumpkin spice creamer. And I immediately went to the store to find it. So I did find it. She's right here. And this is so good. I'm probably, I would say halfway done and I opened this like a few days ago. <laughs> it tastes great. I don't notice really any difference. I mean, maybe there is some in the texture, but not even other than like the added pumpkin spice flavor. I don't feel a difference in regular pumpkin spice creamer in this creamer. If you can't have dairy, and you want a pumpkin spice creamer so you can be basic like the rest of us, try this one because it's damn delicious and I would drink it every day for the rest of my life if I could. But if you buy this, tell Silk that I put you onto it because mom's trying to get a sponsorship. It's hard out in these streets. But seriously, this creamer is amazing. I don't know that I would say it's better than the regular creamer just because with the regular creamer, sometimes I will put that in with other drinks. They need a little extra creaminess and this one it's like if it doesn't jive with pumpkin spice flavor it doesn't really work out well so that's just you know something to consider and the last food slash beverage related item is going to be duncan pumpkin spice coffee so here's a life hack if you are trying to cut down on like calories sugar like basically if you don't want to put creamer in your coffee but you want the pumpkin spiciness or you know you put milk in your coffee instead of creamer however you want to do it i'm not here to judge you that's between you and your lord but if you buy flavored coffee you don't necessarily have to use more creamer because what i found more so when i was on dairy not so much anymore is that when you are making coffee and again this is so subjective because everyone's coffee is different like their tastes and preferences but i found that i have to put a lot more creamer in to get that pumpkin-y flavor from the creamer versus like if i have the coffee and i just put regular creamer then i don't put as much and it tastes the same just a tip for you this is the pumpkin spice one they also have a regular one and this is i put it in a jar but this is just the regular dunkin coffee that you can put in a keurig and it is also pumpkin spice flavored. Would you like some pumpkin? So obviously a fall essential is going to be a nice little beanie here. I just got this one at TJ Maxx and actually I'm really into it. I thought it was going to look kind of dorky, but I do like the like bagginess up top. So I'm really into that. This one's by Calvin Klein. I believe it was like $14.99. I hardly get to wear beanies these days because I'm just always living in warm climates. Because you know what? At night sometimes here it gets down to like 65 degrees. We're really living the dream over here in these warm, almost Texas-like climate. This is a new fave. This onesie I have had since last year. I absolutely love it, especially because the front of our house is so much cooler than the back of our house that during the day, you know, when I'm just doing work on the computer and sitting in the front of the house, sometimes I just get cold. And you know what? You're never too old to wear a onesie. I don't care what you say. 
grandma. I'm gonna wear this until forever. Just kidding, my grandma's never told me I should wear a onesie. Also, honorable mention is this here fall snuggly blanket. You always need one of them. All right guys, so I think I've rambled on enough for everyone for today. So I'm just gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys would like to see any other regular grocery store hauls. Sprouts is the one that I frequent here, but maybe I could do favorite fall soup recipe. I do love me some hot and sour soup, but low key I've been eating it all year, so it doesn't feel like, oh, it's finally soup season. It's just like, yep, just another day in my house where I'm eating soup, because that's all I do. You can like and subscribe below, hopefully. Now that we're back, I will see you guys soon. Say goodbye, Holy Field. Bye. Look at it. Just, just gone. What? So let's see, what else do we have here that's fall essential? Well, I guess I'll just put this in my pocket. Actually, that's weird. Another fall essential. Get you a cake, a purse to snuggle. If you are a non-eat... <laughs>